Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So now that we've done the uh, Shadow Temple, let's actually hop back into this hole real quick. Because there's still something we can do here that we could have done earlier. But I, I'm i inefficient and only remembered it when I got to this point, so... Uh, but anyway, basically I just want to use Din's Fire or possibly Fire Arrows to light up these two torches up here. Just like that. And it drops down a chest for us. Probably nothing important, but it's there, so. And I have to 100% every single item in the entire game, apparently. Well, so, Navi's going over here, but there isn't anything to examine by the looks of it. So my bet is that there's another one of these. Which it seems to be because it made, made the sound effect when I played a song next to here, but I don't know which song it is. But given that this is where we get the Sun Song, maybe? Maybe? I guess it, it hints at playing it for the dead or something like that. Which you would assume would be the re-deads after you do it once, but it could also be for those dead there on the ground. Anyway, that's everything there. So, let's go elsewhere, I guess. Although I feel like I could also check these now. Sharp the Elder, take you out just like that, and now his green spirit is left. Yeah, you killed me, huh? Oh, it's you. Did you try to play the Sun Song? Like I told you before, with that song, you can turn day to night or night to day whenever you want. When you're in darkness, that song should bring the sun's light to you. You should try it. What does that mean? Does that mean something? I'm not sure if it does or not. Anyway, let's take out this pyre here. Which, we can also put this in a bottle and drink it, but we probably shouldn't. You defeated Poe the Ghost. Do you want to catch it in a bottle? I don't have any empty bottles anyway, so... We also can't catch the green Poe souls, so... Anyway... Oh hey, it's not spawning in. No Flat the Younger. That's interesting. I, I guess that they both pro say the same thing and only one of them can have spawned. Let me try. Let me just. Let me just try, double check. Okay. Oh, nothing. That's interesting. Because there's supposed to be another one there. I don't think I killed it. As Child Link. Because I don't. I don't think they can only be spawned once. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. That's interesting. That's very interesting. But anyway, that's everything we need to do here for now, I'm pretty sure. We didn't get a whole lot uh, in the Shadow Temple that could be useful elsewhere. So, let's head over to Gerudo Valley, I guess. Okay, back in Gerudo Valley now. I've already shown you how to get across using a Pona by just running and jumping across the bridge that has been destroyed. But also, if you don't want to use a Pona, or, and pretty much never get a Pona, because I don't think you need a Pona for that then, you can also possibly take the thing down there that I unlocked, but also you're supposed to use the long shot to get across here. So you can do that as well. I'm tempted to find out what that bean plant does because I've never checked that before, I don't think. So let's do that. By going all the way down here. Okay. Now let's see where this takes me. Down. Oh my goodness. Why would- I'm pretty sure I'm sliding around, which is not supposed to happen. Oh, I'm going up now. Got a rupee. This is probably to help you get to this piece of heart there. And apparently that's all it does, is just take you to where the piece of heart is. So I have to go back around now. Okay, so now we're back over here again. Let me just stop that, get down please. And let's get a few things since it's night time now. So, right behind this tent here, I believe, is a gold sculptor. Also I can feel vibrations, so that means that there's a hole here that I could check, possibly. But I don't think it's anything important. 
If it is anything, sir. Please, thank you. Actually, I think it's not quite there. I can feel the vibrations, but I think it's... Further... Hang on, is it in this... No. It was further this way. I think here? It's difficult to tell. Also, it might require a song and not a... a bomb. Let me see. Well, I think it is. No? Yes. There's a hole here. What is in this hole? Is it a fairy fountain? No, it's some Deku scrubs. Okay, well, I don't need those. But those are there. And very quickly, I need to go over this way. Because over this way, we should be out of here. Oh, it's turning into daytime. We need to be quick. There's a gold sculpture up here as well. That we need to get before it turns to daytime. Good. Great. Grab it, please. Thank you. Okay, and now, that should be all the gold sculptures that we need to deal with for the moment. Uh, but I'm also going to get this... Get rid of these rocks here so I can get this tray chest. Okay, we get... A purple rupee. Worth 50. Cool. I think that's everything here now. So let's go into the main part of the Gerudo area, I guess. We probably don't want to take a pony with us, so... The Gerudo's Fortress. Now, the thing about this is, though, is that this is a bit of a stealth section, because if we get seen by any of them, we'll get locked up. Which isn't too bad if we get locked up, so I'm gonna do that. Lock me up. Do it. Halt! Stay where you are! Okay. I will stay where I am. So every time we get caught, we get thrown into here, which can be a little bit annoying. Stupid kid, get in here, in there, and keep quiet. Okay, if you say so. It's just my feelings. Uh, but anyway, let's get out the long shot. And we can long shot out of here up to here. Which is actually good for us, because we can actually do some stuff from here, I believe. Because I believe, with the long shot, we might actually be able to... Oh, maybe not even... Not quite? Not quite. There's a big treasure chest up there that we can almost reach, but can't quite... Question mark? Maybe just a little bit closer? Oh, please? No. It almost looks like I could get it from here. Oh, no. This is sad. This is so sad. But anyway, let's jump down. Also, hello, Navi. The desert. That is where Ganondorf, the evil king, was born. If we go there, we might find something. Okay. Let's head indoors now. Okay, well, thieves hide out. We need to be a little bit careful. Okay, we're good. Because there can be Gerudos roaming inside. But anyway. Hey, you, young man, over there. Look over here, inside the cell. I can do that. Hello. Carpenter. I have no idea where you came from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful. There's sure to be Gerudo guards somewhere around here. Whoa, watch out! And so we have a Gerudo right here that we can take, have to fight with. If we get knocked down, we get imprisoned immediately, so we have to be very careful with what moves we use to attack with. And I think, possibly, either... Oh my goodness, turn around. Possibly, the giant's knife might be... or the. Uh, what's it called? The Bigger on Sword. Might be really good or really bad. I can't remember which, but I th so far it's really good. Anyway, for defeating the Gerudo Swordsman, sword, I don't know. They drop a small key, which we pick up, so. Anyway. She's gone. 
Um, and let's release this carpenter. Did you come here to save me? Oh, that's just swell. I'm Ichiro, the carpenter. We were not uh, really interested in joining their all-female group, but they locked us uh, up like this uh, just because we're men. We don't care about the Gerudo anymore. They're so rude. Three of my fellow fellows have also been captured, so please help them escape too. It's one down, three to go then. I feel like I made a mistake by getting this one first though, because I believe there's one that's on the upper level that I could have jumped to from the prison window, basically. So, let's go over this way. Staying out of sight from all the Gerudo. Now, I believe, if I'm careful enough, with my bow, we can actually stun the guards until the area is reloaded by shooting them with an arrow. Just have to be a little bit patient. And also have good aim. Which is not really my strongest point. But there we go. That's one down. I don't think there's any others I need to worry about for the moment. Some more arrows would be good. Maybe that's why that, uh, what's it called? Maybe that's why the, uh, Gerudo, uh, no, the Deku Salesman were there. To possibly give you... Some more arrows. This isn't a great position to be in right now. But maybe I can... Get it from here. Okay, good. Let's just get up this ledge and go into this room here. Okay, and this is another one of the... What's it called? The Carpenters. Let's see if I can get some more arrows from here. No, just hearts. Hey you, young man, over there, look over here, inside the cell. I'm in the cell next to you, how can you see me? How do you know it's me and not somebody else? Also, that rupee is floating now? That's cool. So if it just lands on top of something that you can break, it just, once you break the thing that you can break, it just doesn't fall. Also, nice, three different rupees, except they don't need them. I have no idea where you came from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful, there are sure to be a Gruta guard somewhere around here. Whoa, watch out! Once again, we have one of these to take out. Just need to be... Careful not to get knocked down, which happen happens sometimes when you get hit. But anyway, now that's more key. Let's let this carpenter out. You're a cute kid. Thank you for coming to save me. I'm Jiro, the carpenter. These women are so scary. I'd rather work as a carpenter than join them. I can't wait to say goodbye to this place. Two of my buddies are still being held prisoner. Will you please get them out too? How do you know how many of the carpenters I've saved? How do you know? I just saved you, so how, how do you know these things? Also, where are you going? I don't know if that's the best way out of here. But anyway. Now, I believe... I believe... Maybe I want to go down here? I'm not entirely sure if this is the right way to go. And the answer is... Maybe? I'm really surprised if I'm going the right way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is happening? Now is there... No. Okay. Hey you! Young man! Over there! Look over here! Inside the cell! I'm... I'm looking. I have no idea where you came from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the, the guards around here. Oh my goodness, no wonder you're all locked up. You all say the exact same thing. 
All of my fellow carpenters are imprisoned somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful, there's sure to be Garuda guards somewhere around here. Dot 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 dot. Whoa, watch out! I think you get the picture by this point. But anyway. Let's take you out. Completely going through your defenses because you can't block any of this. Be careful when they jump at you because they will... They're basically guaranteed to knock you over if they jump at you. You can kind of tell when they're going to jump at you because they do that with their swords. Kind of curl them. But anyway, let's grab that key. Let's release this carpenter. Let's see if he knows the fate of his friends already. Thanks, boy. You're fantastic. I'm Saburu, the carpenter. Have you seen our boss, boy? He's probably worried about me. I have to get back to him immediately. One more of our workers is still in a prisoner. Please save him. Do they have a way to communicate with each other or something? I guess if they're all saying the same thing, they could all be like twins or something. Like, I don't know what the word is for for twins. Anyway, but like they, they could all be identical. You know, they, they telepathy just... Oh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> don't want to be there. Let's go back this way. This seems like a good plan. I, I like this plan. Let's go this way. <laughs> Before we get caught again. Uh, actually, I might need to be caught again, but also I'm going to do something else first if I can. I really wish I could get more some, some more arrows right now. For free. Actually, I think I know where I'm supposed to go, and it's not where I thought it was, but I thought it was where it was. If that makes any kind of sense. Now, let's go through here, I believe. This is actually a room we've already seen. Uh, kind of. That, there's a passageway down there, and that's where we shot the, uh, arrow at the Gerudo to stun them. Please tell me this is gonna actually drop me on the platform. It is, and I can actually go through here. Good. Stealth level 100. Okay, and now that we're up here, I'm gonna go up a little bit further. Uh, I think I need to jump across here. Carefully. You can also see some stuff in the desert over there, which is cool. Uh, but we want to climb up this vine here. Because it's conveniently just growing up here. And now we're at the very top of the fortress. And I want to go over here. And I think it might be possible to long shot to the chest over there, but also... If we play the Scarecrow song, of course... It's a lot more helpful than you'd think. It actually just spawns Pierre over there, so we can just do that. And have a much simpler time than trying to get a good, good get then trying to get a good angle on this chest. But anyway. Let's take this. Get a piece of heart. Just need another three more. Uh, but now I need to also figure out where this other door is. Is it over here? Or is it further down? I think it might be further down. There's a couple of doors I need to check, so... Let's go through here. This is looking promising. Also, I believe... I believe... If I'm not mistaken, yes! Good thing I didn't run out immediately. Um... I don't know. I can't quit out. Ah, it's a shame. It's a real shame. How did I not use up an arrow just then? I don't entirely know. I'm going to be very careful here. Okay, that this is the last carpenter and there's no more guards I need to worry about. Hey you, young man, over there. Look over here, inside the cell. Okay, I looked inside the cell, goodbye. But anyway. I have no idea where you came from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All of my fellow carpenters are in prison somewhere in here. Guess you don't know that they're already out. If you can get us out of here, we'll repay the favor somehow. But be careful, there's sure to be Gerudo guards somewhere around here. Whoa, watch out! 
Here we go again. Just completely destroy them. Poor. Careful. Got him. Very nice. Anyway. That's our small key that we need. Let's release this carpenter. Hello, sir. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. <laughs> now I'm free. Thanks. I'm sure the carpenter. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the deserts that I overheard the Gerudos talking about. They said in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you need the Eye of Truth. Uh, the Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going back to my tent near Gerudo Valley. So drop by sometime. You may find something helpful there. Bye! I've seen your fine work to get past the guards here. You must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men beside the great Ganondorf were useless, but now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Naboru, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naboru is the second in command to the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. Here. Her headquarters are in the Spirit Temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? Alright then, you're in from now on. Take this, with, with it you will have free access to all areas of the fortress. You obtain the Gerudo's membership card, you can get into the Gerudo's training ground in their hideout. We can also don't have to worry about being seen anymore, so we can just run around. From now on, you're free to come and go as you please, through the gate to the desert. You'll find the Spirit Temple, where the exalted Naboru lives, out there in the desert. So now we don't have to worry about losing any more arrows, which is good because we only have eight left. Ah, uh, but we also don't need, need them that much, I guess, so. <laughs> Sorry about the guard, by the way. It's fine. But anyway now, there's a few other things I want to check still, which I might have actually shot myself in the foot. Slightly. Uh, but I'm gonna see you. I can probably get to where I need to go still. Uh, let's go through the fortress a little bit more. And as I said, we don't have to worry about being seen anymore, so we can just go completely crazy. Also, there's a thing here. Why is there a thing here? This is weird. Come on. I wouldn't have thought there'd be one of these here, since you can't get hurt by anything here. Um... What, what song do I need to play? Sun song. I don't understand why this is here, but it's interesting. Maybe at one point you were actually going to be able to get hit by the Crudos or something. It's interesting. Uh, but anyway, back up here, I want... I want to go up. Just a little bit more. So it looks like Pierre isn't there anymore. Can I reach that chest from here? Maybe slightly further down. Ah, uh, looks like it, since I can reach... Oh, is that the chest? That's actually the chest. Okay, cool. There's, I'm grabbing onto nothing and it somehow works. But anyway, if we go down here, which we could have accessed by jumping from the window that we get out of the prison out of, we can actually go through this door over here. And this isn't necessary, but I think it's quite interesting that there's this area here. There's a few Gerudos, so that's why I wanted to get the Gerudo membership card first. But now, if we go over this area... Come on. Hang on. Please. Thank you. It's going to go all the way up this way. Because this leads... ...to above the prison cell, where you get dropped in here. So you can actually go back into the prison cell if you want, but also if we roll into this box over here... ...we see the only time you... I think it's the only time... ...you can see a purple rupee without actually... ...getting it from a chest or something. So you can see both... ...the gold or huge rupee and the purple rupee... ...without having to be 
getting it from a chest. But anyway, let's get out of here now. I don't know how I didn't take full damage just then. Uh, but let's check out a few things. Now we've done all that. Also, I guess you can also talk to all the Gerudo, but I don't particularly feel like talking to them right now. Uh, let's start off by heading back to the Gerudo Gorge. I think that's what it's called. Uh, because now that we've rescued all the carpenters, if we get a little bit further down here, we can see that they've actually repaired the bridge, so we can actually get across that now without any problems. We can do it a lot faster. Hey, I heard you saved my men. When they returned, we built this bridge. Look at this. Isn't it a fine bridge? They may be wimpy carpenters, but once they all got together, they got the job done. So there we go, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, there's something else there, but I'm gonna hold off on that for the moment. Also, I need a Pona. Where's a Pona gone? I need a Pona. Okay. Pona, let's take you into the Gerudo Fortress area. We can't take opponent any further than the Gerudo Fortress, but we can do something in one of the areas of the Gerudo Fortress. Because if you look at the map, you might see that there's a huge area next to the Gerudo Fortress. Oh, please tell me I can't. Oh, that's a shame. I can't go up the stairs as opponent, so I have to go around. That's fine. Let's just go around like that. And go up this slope over here. Here we go. Hang on. Arr. Can you tell me what this place is? Speak. Hey, newcomer. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> good, good information. Oh, I'm glad that I spent that extra effort to look at that. Anyway. This here is a little mini game we can do with a pona. Hey, newcomer, you have a fine horse. I don't know where you stole it from, but... Okay, how about challenging this horseback archery? Once the horse starts galloping, shoot the targets with your arrows. Let's see how many points you can score. You get 20 arrows. Also, I don't think you need a pony for this, but you can still get a pony for this if you want to, so... If you can score a thousand points, I will give you something good. Do you want to try... 20 rupees? Sure. Now this is gonna take me a while. So I might just cut to when I get this. But basically, we're on rail so we don't have to worry about, uh... Don't have to worry about moving, but we also need to shoot things, which I'm doing a terrible job of right now. Pots are worth 100, targets are worth more in the center than the outside. We only have... 20 shots, so we need to get a lot of points without too much trouble. You want to get the pots in the first time round, and then more bigger points from the targets if you can. Well, that's all my arrows, and I got 600 points. I need a lot more than that to, to get all the rewards from this. 600 points, hmm? Haha, <laughs> you have plenty of room for improvement. Do you want to try again? Sure. Fantastic! You are a true master. <laughs> no, not quite. I'll give you this to you. Keep improving yourself. 
And we get a piece of heart from that, so that's good. Just need two more. But that's not the only thing we can get from this. And it's going to take a lot of rupees if I keep messing this up, so... We need to get 1,500 points for a second prize. So this will take practice, basically. Uh, if you need more rupees, go kill the Skull Kid repeatedly and get gold, uh, huge rupees from him. I uh, hang on. I skipped all that text. You just set a new goal of 1,500 points and try again. Uh, hang on. Let me just see if I can speak to you again. Hey, rookie. You've, you're looking good. Show me your skills again. You should set a new goal of 1,500 points and try again. Do you want to try for 20 rupees? Sure. It's a good thing it only costs 20 rupees, because otherwise I'd be grinding a lot more rupees than I am right now. We need to basically not miss anything. Easier said than done. Eight hundred and fifty is a good middle mark to have on the way back. Oh please, there's no cross here. Also, I've completely lost at this point because I can't get the amount of points I need. Because if you need another five hundred points and you have four arrows left, then you can't you can't get the amount of points you need. So sad but true. Got it! I don't know how I got it that fast. That's probably the best attempt I've ever had at that. In as, like, as few attempts at least. I'll be darned, you are the ultimate master. Thank you. I will give you an item suitable for the master. This quiver is very important to me. I want you to have it. Take good care of it, okay? And so we get the final quiver upgrade. Uh, which is gold. You've upgraded your quiver to the biggest quiver. Now you can carry even more arrows to a maximum of 50. And that is probably the last uh, increase to how many items we can hold. So there it is. Gold. I, li I like how it is. It starts off as bronze and then turns silver and then gold. That's just such a good touch to it. Anyway. That is all that now. So let's keep moving and go into the desert. That's a goal. Can't take a pony with us. But we can get a few things along the way as well. We do need the long shot for this as well as the Eye of Truth, so... This is why it feels like you're supposed to do this last, except you also only have to do the well to get the Lens of Truth and don't have to worry about the, um... The what's it called? The Shadow Temple. But anyway... Talk to you. Hey, newcomer. Nothing else? Cool. Let me climb up this ladder all the way to the top of the gate. There's also something else I, could pr I should probably be getting now. Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you. But you can't cross the desert unless you pass... The two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we've placed there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You are going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead.
Okay, so the gate is now open, but there's one other thing I want to take care of first. So let's change it to night. Okay. I should probably call a pony to make this faster as well. Because we need to be on this shooting range at night to get a gold sculptor here. Oh dear, I think a pony's stuck somewhere. Nope, there she is. Right, oh, the other side. I don't know how she got there, but anyway. Enough logic criticizing. Let's head to the opposite end of the area here, opposite side of the range. And on the target that we had to shoot halfway is the Gold Sculptor. Hopefully this is the last Gold Sculptor here because I can't remember or not. So, it's a, it's a real problem. That works. <laughs> I am the target now. Okay. Let's head to the Gerudo Desert, then. Okay, well, let's get our opponent here. Just like that. What's this sign say? Haunted Wasteland. If you chase, chase a mir mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. And what's that saying is if we go off the path too much, it will... Uh, will it will just be, mo ah. it will just teleport us back to the Gerudo Fortress. Basically, we will get lost and wander the wrong way back. So, anyway, let's make it daytime again so it, it's cooler and also possibly easier to see as well. But anyway, we've reached the Quicksand River here, the River of Sand. So let's use uh, hook shot or long shot to get across. If I can aim better than this. There we go. Just like that. Now there's also something along the way here. I love how the map's just empty as well. All those reckless enough to venture into the desert, please drop by our shop. Carpet merchant. So if we go over this way, also I'm kind of sinking in the sand slightly. There's this guy over here, which if we get out our hover boots, we can actually go over to visit. Hey, guy. Welcome. I am selling stuff strange and rare from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is... A dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until I see the money. How about 200 rupees? Sure, why not? We can actually buy bomb juice here. Not that we really need to, but we can. Thank you very much. What I'm selling is Bomb Chu. The mark that will lead you to the Spirit Temple is the flag on the left outside the shop. Be seeing you. So there we go. That's yeah, an interesting little detail of a character that you could probably just miss. But anyway, I believe if you also have the hover boots on, you don't have to worry about sinking into the sand too much. But also, we need to follow the flags now, so. We can see some of the flags up ahead, but I'm going to just go between them to make sure I don't go the wrong way. Also, I'm going to take off the boots because they are annoying me already. Okay, this feels a lot better. <laughs> okay, just keep following the flags. can barely see them through the, the dust. Okay, made it to a center point. Let's head down before we do anything else. Because there's a gold sculptor up here, or down here, technically. So let's grab that. Very nice. And there's also some torches that we can light, so let's do that as well. Because I'm pretty sure that this is actually something very helpful to do. Because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I, mi I might be mistaken, which would be very sad for me right now. Nope, it's just a purple rupee. Okay. Well, we still got a purple rupee, which is good because we just spent 200 rupees. 
but, and we also got a gold skull floor, so that's also good. How many of those do we have now? 90! Oh my goodness. That's kind of insane that there are 90 sculptures that we've collected so far, and I'm all, I'm doing that pretty much all from memory. Now, let's find the way up here. Just like this. And let's check this out. One with the Eye of Truth shall be guided to the Spirit Temple by an inviting ghost. Well, let's get out the Lens of Truth now, then. We can see a ghost here, a po. I'll be a guide on your way, but coming back I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me and do not be slow. So we need to keep up with this po as it's going through the desert. And try not to lose the path. Now I'm pretty sure you can also take a shortcut if you know which way to go. Uh, but I can't remember where exactly that is. I also just think I'm better off following. I think from there you can go straight to the flags over there, but I'm just gonna keep following the Poe for the moment. Just to be safe. Or maybe it's from that box? I don't know. Actually, no, I'm gonna just go from here. From the box. Seems to be fine. Let's go. So we don't have to follow it completely. Just, just enough. We've made it to the Desert Colossus. We've also got these enemies here called uh, levers. Watch out, watch its movements closely and let it go by. So they're going to be annoying here. But that is also it for now, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. This is really not a great place to be with the levers here. I'm going to move a little bit forward. Because I don't think they can get me if I'm on top of one of these rocks, probably. Anyway, that is it for now, so thank you- oh my goodness. Please, enemies. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time.